Hey everyone, I'm Megan Remblack and welcome to my channel, Meg Rem Softball. Hi, Audrey here. So we're gonna go through a couple of pitching drills and some ways that I like to, and I like to instruct my pitchers to just get loose and get warm before they even grab the ball to throw um, a practice or a game. I think these are great for either or. So we all do our warm ups and we all do our stretches and there's certain drills that we like to stretch and kind of get everything going. And there's a couple that I like to add in for our pitchers. And they're very simple. Uh, one of them is called hug yourself. And this drill is just really kind of getting that stretch, getting that extension going, also getting the heart rate going a little bit because it involves movement. So first I'd say do about 10 of these and you're just switching which arm is above each time. So you're just getting a nice, good stretch here. Give yourself some love, give yourself a little hug starting to feel warm. Um, then from there, what I like to do is called high five, low five. So high five, low five is just how it sounds. You're gonna high five yourself. We just hugged ourselves. Now we're gonna high five ourselves. So we're really just kind of essentially doing this motion where we're gonna flip hands, high five, low five ourselves. Once you get more confident in the motion, it looks like this. So we're just switching those hands in the middle here, really feeling that extension, really feeling getting those little tiny muscles triggered, fired up in that shoulder, and we're ready to go. So again, I do about 10 of these as well, and then we're ready to move on. So lastly, this is one of my favorites, and again, these are warm-ups that we're doing before we even touch the ball. This involves a long sock and a softball, um, and you just put that softball inside the sock, you tie a knot, and what you're gonna do is, usually I like to kind of find a place where there's you know a nice line so you can always make sure that we've got a nice body position and all we're doing here is we're just going to create a windmill with this ball and this sock and just really get that arm going as well so i do about 10 of these nice and slow we're not trying to throw any flame throw yet we're just really feeling that nice motion i'll do about 10 take a breather Take a chill for a second. Don't want to burn out the arm too soon. We're just getting loose here and then same thing. The beauty of this drill is that it really forces you to stay on that power line. If we get behind our head, you're going to hit yourself. If you get your arm out here, ow, you're going to hit yourself in the shin. So it really corrects that windmill to make sure it's really coming nice and steady right up that power line here. So I like to go toe to a line just to really set that pace, set that tone, that we're keeping everything on that power line. So there's a lot of different pitching drills that you can do and a lot of really, really great options uh, for new pitchers or for more seasoned pitchers. And a couple of things I will always look for when working with a pitcher to make sure that they're gonna have mechanics that'll get them where they want to be and be consistent and have that foundation set it's a couple of things. So one of the things that I will always do no matter what drill you're doing is I love to have a good line that really shows you that power that you're gonna really be able to drive down in those drills and eventually drive down that power line with your pitches. So no matter what drill you're doing, it's so important to stay consistent with having your toes on that power line, having a strong, sturdy bend in those knees, nice athletic bend. Those are two essentials with, with any drill that we're doing. And in addition to that, I always like to say, I talk about this as the power line. If we were to draw an arrow from our toe, from our knee, and from our shoulder, they are all staying in line along that power line, giving us the most energy and the most power we can get. If we find that our shoulder is derailing off of that power line, or our foot is derailing off of that power line, we're not going to get that maximum power that we can get. So. I'll show a couple of drills in just a second, but first and foremost, just wanted to show that stance and really the energy being around that toe, that knee, that shoulder, that glove hand, all staying along that power line. So I love a good drill that is a piece of your pitch. We all know this is what we're getting at and we're excited to throw the pitch, but in warm-ups, it's so important to make sure we're piecing that together so that when we get back, our body position is exactly where we want it to be. So the first drill is actually gonna be the last piece of the pitch which is those wrist snaps. So very simple, all I want you to do for wrist snaps is get your toes on the line, have a nice bend in those knees, 
And all I'm gonna have you do is cock that wrist right at that back hip, and you're gonna go ahead and flip that ball, and that drag foot's gonna follow along with you, okay? So again, wrist cocked at the back hip, snap that wrist, and go ahead and let it follow. So do a few dry before you throw the pitch, and when you throw the pitch, it'll look something like this. We're going to scoot a couple steps back and again toes on that line nice bend in the knee glove knee and toe are all lined up on that power line we're going to go ahead and put that arm behind our head i call this the t drill we're going to look back cock that wrist make sure the arm is right where we want it to be don't lock the arm out a nice little easy bend is just fine and all we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and bring that ball up and around so really this is that piece right before that wrist snap we just practiced. We're right here. Wrist is cocked. Nice relax in that elbow. Boom. So when we throw that, it'll look something like this. Action. Okay, so working our way back to the mounds, taking a few more steps back. This next drill, again, just as I'll always say, toes on the line. Bend in those knees, our knee, our, our toe, and our glove hand arm is, is really along that power line as we go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to incorporate that windmill. So it's gonna look something like this. We're just gonna go up and around. We're gonna release that ball. We're gonna go ahead and finish that pitch. So it's gonna look something like this again, up and around. So do a few dry before you get it going, and you'll go ahead and bring it all the way around. Nice and easy, nice and smooth. 